Welcome to Good News To Go. I'm Ren. And I'm Mabel. And we're bringing you the brightest stories from around the globe. This week, we're learning about biodegradable plastic. And Queen Elizabeth's memorial is unveiled. And colossal squids and atoms are being photographed for the first time in history. And in a historic first, voters democratically elect Supreme Court justices. Five fast, feel-good stories. Mabel, did you know that? For years, scientists have known about the colossal squid, but they've never even seen one in its natural habitat. It's so crazy. I saw that they just captured footage of one. Exactly. So a couple months ago, researchers aboard the Schmidt Ocean Institute's RV Falkor deployed remotely operated vehicles near the South Sandwich Islands. These are all real things and places. (laughs) And they filmed a juvenile colossal squid at nearly 2,000 feet deep. And apparently these squids can grow up to 23 feet long and weigh over 1,000 pounds. And this little one that they got footage of was nearly a foot long. And the footage showed the squid with like scratches on its arms and fresh looking sucker marks on its mantle. But it was otherwise in pretty good shape. And they look really cool because they're like translucent. So they literally look like glass or something, but they're moving. And before this, scientists have only ever seen them as remains in whales' stomachs or in fishing nets. But the timing of this discovery couldn't be better because 2025 marks the 100th anniversary of the colossal squid's scientific discovery. Oh, that is perfect. And I guess a couple months ago, researchers also filmed the glacial glass squid. I didn't, I literally didn't know any of these things existed, which is another super elusive species. Um, and they found it alive in Antarctic waters for the first time. Mexico just made a groundbreaking move in democracy and became the first North American country in modern history to let citizens vote for their Supreme Court justices. Yeah, a few weeks ago on June, June 1st, Mexicans headed to the polls and directly elected all their judges, including the nine members of the Supreme Court. And this reform was championed by Mexico's president, Claudia Scheinbaum, and its aim was to reduce corruption and make the judiciary more accountable. And the first chief justice to be elected democratically is Hugo Aguilar, who is a well-known indigenous rights defender because he himself is a member of the Mixtec indigenous group, which is an ancient Mesoamerican lineage that survived since 1500. BCE. And this is really cool because 20% of Mexico's population is indigenous, so he'll actually be representing these people. He has said that the native populations are owed a significant debt from colonialism, and so in court, he'll wear like mixed tech clothing instead of a traditional robe. Oh, that is cool. And uh, clearly, a lot of voters agree with him because he won the popular vote by a margin of almost 400,000 votes. And five female justices were also elected to join Aguilar on the bench. So not sure if you saw this, but the designs for Queen Elizabeth's memorial are in and people are shocked at how understated they are. Yeah, so last month, five concepts were pretty much unveiled to honor her. And each design is supposed to reflect her quiet strength and deep connection to nature. So one of them is Heatherwick Studios Bridge of Togetherness. I really love this one. It features a canopy of structural lilies and a limestone bridge. And it's supposed to symbolize unity and the Queen. 70-year reign. There's another proposal by Foster and Partners, which includes a unity bridge and gardens with pathways inscribed with the Queen's words, like her 1953 coronation vow, I shall strive to be worthy of your trust. And then there's The Queen's Oak by Tom Stewart Smith, which is a full-size bronze cast of a Windsor oak tree, supposed to reflect her love of nature and her love of the royal grounds. And all the designs are set in St. James Park, which is like right near Buckingham Palace. And this was cool. They were actually open for public feedback for a little bit. And the final design will be revealed in 2026, marking what would have been the Queen's 100th birthday. Aww. A breakthrough in plastic innovation is making waves in Japan. So scientists have developed a non-toxic plastic that dissolves in seawater within two to three hours. So this plastic breaks down rapidly when exposed to salt water and leaves no harmful microplastics since it's non-toxic non-flammable. So it breaks apart into like nutritious compounds for ocean-borne bacteria. And the plastic itself is supposed to be as strong and as flexible as normal plastic. But this material is highly vulnerable to salt. So when it's immersed in salty ocean water, the plastic just dissolves. I mean, this innovation could significantly reduce ocean pollution and the harmful effects it has on marine life. MIT physicists have captured the first ever images of atoms freely interacting in space. And atoms are like super hard to understand. So this was a really big deal. They're obviously super small and a single atom is one millionth of the thickness of a strand of human hair. That's crazy. I just literally pulled a strand of hair off like a millionth of that is crazy. (laughs) And researchers employed a method called atom resolved microscopy, like microscope, and they first allowed a cloud of atoms to move and interact freely. And then they briefly froze the atoms using light 
crazy, and then illuminated them with finely tuned lasers to capture their positions before they dissipated. And before this like discovery, the imaging techniques that we have now only allowed you to see the overall shape and structure of a cloud of atoms. So it's kind of like looking at the clouds in the sky, but not being able to see the individual droplets that make up the cloud. Mm. Whenever we discuss atoms, I always think of middle school, like chemistry like atoms are the building blocks of life and that's a wrap for this week's good news to go i'm still thinking about the squid (laughs) thanks for joining us don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell for more feel-good stories and we'll see you next week for more good news to go